What's going on guys? So today, ya boy got his front end for the CRX. Thanks to CRX dude, his name will be boom, right there. Thank you, thank you again. Came all the way from Vegas and uh, to drop this off, which is pretty sick. Uh, make sure you, this is his Instagram right here. Make sure you go and follow him. He has tons of CRX parts. Super cheap prices, good quality, good condition. I mean, like he even went all the way far back to cut it, cut it by the frame for me. So I mean, kudos to you. Thank you so much. So I want to give a huge shout out to uh, ooh, that car is nice. I also want to give a huge shout out to uh, a few friends who've also helped me out throughout this. Um, shout out to my my friend Will and my friend Donnie. Uh, they always pushed me to making a YouTube channel and they always told me to start off just doing vlogs and I never thought about it like hey you know maybe I should do it but a lot of people encouraged me and pushed me forward to do it so I want to give them a shout out thank you so much for helping me thank you so much for being there and standing for uh, standing with me and, uh, and believing in me thank you now what I gotta do is I gotta find the spot well done here like here's one there's one there's one there's one <coughs> I think that's one if I'm not too sure one right here and then it goes all the way through all the way around I'm not, not this part here though but there's one there one there there I don't need the uh, back piece I just need this whole front little shell so the spot welds are like right there 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 here here and all the way right here that'll disconnect it from there the hard part for me is these two right here and then I don't know where the other one is on this on this side I think there's one right there yeah that's one there's one right there and then it should just come right off last time I tried to remove one because my other one was twisted at the bottom of the frame I tried to remove it it ended up uh, cutting a hole right here in this little passenger side uh, the passenger side firewall so got to be extra careful this time but it's really not bad. It even has a T-bar made in Japan, just like the uh, original CRX. The compressor number, <coughs> factory sticker, which is you know, always a nice touch. I mean, it's gonna get painted. Well, primed and painted when I'm before, like, uh, well, after I put it on and I shave when I need to shave. Like, of course, you know, I'm gonna be shaving some of the holes here, all all the way through. Some of the little tabs that don't aren't necessary for me. Like this hole, these over here, except for this. Like I won't be sha shaving one of these because uh, I think one of these are the uh, the ground for the motor. I lied. This one is the ground for the motor, I think. Anyways, you know what I'm fucking saying. One of these is for AC and all that shit, but it's going to hopefully go on today. I, I got everything pretty much gone. Got to fix that. That's, that's a no-no. But everything else, I got to straighten that out. Weld it all up here where the holes are, and then over here, do the same thing. Hi, Kevin. Do the same thing, except I gotta bend this back to, to uh, <coughs> bend this back straight. <coughs> I gotta fix that hole right there too, and bring this side out. But this side looks good. I didn't even replace this part. This part was the part I was telling you about where it split. But I'm about to fix this, so. Hopefully it's gonna go in today. So I'm excited, so let's get this done. Let's do this right now. Okay, so I have all the spot welds marked and ready to drill out. Every single one of them. So all I need to do now is just get the drill bit and we're good to go, right Mike? Yeah. Okay, so, so far, I have so many, uh, some of the holes. So far I got some of the holes done and then this happened the fucking bit decided to uh fucking snap on me so now it's stuck in there so now i gotta drill it out and i gotta use regular normal drill drill bits and then i gotta fucking extend it with this so much extra work just to take this whole thing off Ugh. Right. got it off after drilling out the, the the spot welds that's off and now that's where all the holes are. It looks like Swiss cheese, but that's where I need to weld up the new uh, 
radiator support onto the body of the car. But so far that's what I have done. Now it's time to get the other side done. Oh yeah. Oh. Now that both pieces of metal are done, I got the whole front end ready to go on the CRX. Finally! That's how it's gonna look when it's on. Right now I have bolts just holding it up. But I'm gonna have to do some lineup work on it real quick. Maybe bend back some of the frame because as you can see, it doesn't line up perfectly. It is off of a DX. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but hey, you know, find out when that time comes, right? But I just gotta line it up, get it accurate. But yeah, that's how it looks right now. And it's all welded in. I try to get it as lined as best as I could to my abilities. If it's not lined up perfectly, I don't care. As long as I have a front end now that's not twisted like it was at the bottom. It looks good to me. Doesn't look crooked. Not at all. Looks pretty symmetrical. Cool. So now I can start uh, shaving some of the holes tomorrow. And like, yeah, I know my welds are terrible, but it's in there. It's solid. It's not going anywhere. So. I mean, I'm shaking the whole thing, so. But, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, this is Lazy Man's Garage. We get shit done when we feel like it. Peace.